Hi folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys in a Ride. Today Rob and I are here at the Minneapolis Auto Show at the beautiful uh, Minnesota, Minnesota State Fairgrounds. We're here with Tom, and Tom is with Opus Motor Car Company. That's us. Now, I, I, I couldn't help but stop when I saw this <laughs> from coming down the block because I like little things. And uh, I like golf carts, utility vehicles, and so this just caught my eye. So, Tom, tell us what this is. Yeah. So this is the Opus number three. Uh, this right now is our prototype. It's a street legal golf cart. Uh, we're working on uh, developing this as a low speed vehicle, uh, which is a federal designation, comes with right. plates, tags, registration, and be uh, able to bring on a street 35 miles an hour or under. Uh, this right now uh, is kind of our flagship and goes on sale June 1st for 7500 bucks. Mechanically capable of 35 miles an hour, but we can limit depending on town regulations. Okay. Comes with AM, FM radio with Bluetooth, uh, rear view camera, heater, electric windows, and keyless entry. So, man, well, <laughs> that that just sounds like a lot of fun. All right, let's let's walk around the front. So, um, projector, L uh, um, projector LED. headlamps, yep. LED. Mm -hmm. Wow, less power consumption though, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, very okay. Efficient. Turn signals. Yep. Hazards. The worst. Massive bumper. Yeah, so this, <laughs> wow. we're experimenting with this. This isn't uh, stock right now. Uh, we're looking at it as an option. It's full aluminum, welded direct to the chassis. Uh, you know, mechanical spring. So Pretty I awesome. can really push my neighbor around. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> or or push my car. If and at point. this weight, it's not a felony. So, you know. Yeah, oh, there you go. There you go. Uh, do you actually have turn signal indicators in the rear view, or the side mirrors? Those are just retro reflectors. Okay, they're just retro, but that's cool. Yep. I like that. Okay, yeah. so uh, what, what about the tire size? So these are standard golf cart tires. Okay. Basic 400, or, or 4 by 100 millimeter uh, lug pattern. So it'll take, uh, again, whatever golf cart you got. That's so. just sweet. They're of course a little narrower than you would have on a typical golf cart, yep. the tires, but nicer for, for driving, you know, on pavement. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, now coming back here, the, are the mirrors powered at all? Do they, how do you adjust? Just use just your fingers? get your finger in there, yep. press it, friction oh, locks. Yes. So I'm, I, I'm familiar with that. <laughs> that. That's in my era. All right. So what a big door. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if we open it up here, so you actually have seating for two or four really skinny people. <laughs> I've sat five, but we have belts for three. <laughs> okay, so there are belts for three. So, yeah. man. All right, so tell us, uh, okay, this is obviously your uh, Bluetooth receiver. Is this also hooks to your phone? Uh, yep, and again, AM, FM, it's all handled in one unit. Uh, mono sound. Okay. Uh, but you know, you hear all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's a great description of mono sound. It's only mono, but you hear all of it. You got, you got that straight from Tom, folks. Thank all you. right. So uh, the steering column, does it uh, telescope or does it tilt at least? Uh, it does tilt. It does yep, tilt. It does okay. tilt down. All right. You got your horn in the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it possible to, to turn on the power and see the dashboard? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So one thing that will become pretty apparent at this point is that this dash is not in English. <laughs> Okay, so right now uh, we import most of these parts. Uh, okay, we do final assembly here, um, and we're relying on some really well-developed uh, supply chains and manufacturing uh, abilities overseas. Okay, um, but as we sell more and more of these vehicles, we're going to be de developing this more and more. We're already working on a dash unit that'll be full English. So, what all basically does a dash do for you? What does it show you? Uh, so the dash, you got your speed, uh, you got your voltage, battery health. Uh, you got all your turn signals. Uh, you know you'll be able to see that. Oh, yeah. Hazards. Okay, so you do have your battery indicator. So yep. you, I mean that's your charge, which is one of the things that you would really want. Yep. Okay, and then uh, over on the dashboard, you got a big knob there. Yep, that's our. Uh, we've got drive, neutral, reverse. Okay. Reverse engages the rear view camera as well. Okay, and that mm -hmm. just shows up right in that in that particular screen. Yep. Sweet. All right, so right to the next of that, you've got another uh, red switch. That's our heater. <laughs> okay, nice. It's right and easy to, to place. Okay, you've got course standard brake and accelerators yep. that you would see on a golf cart. What is the red lever right above the brake? That's our parking brake. Okay. So to disengage, it's engaged right now to keep it from rolling away. Uh, to disengage it, you press down on the brake. Right. It's just like a golf cart. Yep, just like a golf cart. And, and then, then to set it, re engage, press it down however far you want that brake to go, tilt it down, and let it go. And the teeth bite right in. Nice. So. A little glove compartment on the side. Yep, <laughs> just enough for our uh, our propaganda. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Uh, yeah. That is sweet. Okay. And a cup holder. And a cup holder. I'm assuming it comes with the Opus Motor Car Company mug. Absolutely will. And the flower. 
Well, I'll see about the flood. <laughs> I'll see about the flood. Okay, let's talk about. Uh, you, you do have power windows. Yep, that we do. Okay. Here. <laughs> I love it. And uh, one thing I, I, I haven't mentioned is that we do have. Uh, oh, look at this. Here with some fans, so we don't have AC. Okay. Uh, but we can get some air coming in here. And again, these windows that is are really neat. Huge. Yeah, so well, really especially in an enclosed flow, area mm -hmm. where you can't, you know, like on a utility vehicle, you'd be able to pop the windshield forward or something mm -hmm. to get some airflow. Here, I, I see there's some storage underneath the front seat. Yeah, uh, that's where our batteries are located. Okay. Um, we have a second uh, area underneath here for additional batteries. Okay, um, that aren't even added yet. That aren't added yet. Uh, right now, we're actually, so we use AGM batteries for this, mm -hmm. uh, basically larger. Kind of lead acids, but not right. quite. Um, but we're going to lithium iron phosphate, which is much denser. It'll all fit underneath the front. Okay. And then we'll also have uh, additional storage space. That's free oh, okay. So that'd be storage space. Now, yeah. does the second row seat at all fold down? It does. Yes. Okay. Uh, here, I can. Uh, if you grab that. Yep. Uh, I always forget. Is it? Oh, no, no, that's right. It's passive. Forgive oh. me. This is. Uh, you're seeing no, the no, undercarriage. <laughs> no, no, this is fine. I bet. I mean, this is awesome. Yeah. So we have full access to the controller here. Um, yep. It's fully removable again with hand tools. We have a basic wiring diagram that's going to come with it. Um, anyone that's worked again with e-bikes, drones should be very familiar with how this works. Okay. So, yeah, every single component on this can be uh, pulled on or put on or put off with a basic wrench set. So. Okay. I, I just kind of like that you got you got that nice. I mean, you can also use that just for storage. Yeah. You know. Totally. For my purposes, <laughs> you know, that'll fit a nice case of beer right there. Or yeah. Something. Okay. Uh, and then coming to the back here, of course, you do have a third brake light, tail mm -hmm. brake light. That we do. Uh, and then I like your turn signals. I like Thank the, you. Like the color combination <laughs> and everything. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the, are these down here active or the reflectors? Uh, those are reflectors. Okay. On the bottom. And then you yep. do have a, a small hitch. Mm -hmm. Again, um, that's with our, our bumper that we're still working with. That's not going to be available when we go on sale in June, uh, but it is in our current bumper design. So. Okay. So, um, if somebody wanted to order one of these, yeah. how would they get a hold of you? So, you can visit our website. That's opusmotorcar.com, O-P-U-S. Uh, otherwise, uh, Instagram, Facebook, we're there. Uh, you can always come to the Twin Cities Auto Show if you got time. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, or, uh, yeah. So um, that's that's the easiest way to get a hold of you is, is just opusmotorcar.com. Yep, uh, Opus Little Cars also redirects there. But okay, uh, a couple more questions before we wrap mm -hmm. up, Tom. Um, again, let's let's just talk about the price. These are these are seventy five hundred dollars. Okay, yep. and is there? I mean, can you get a cheaper version or a more expensive version, or this is basically seventy five hundred is what you're you're going to get all this. Seventy five hundred is what you're going to get. Uh, we can do custom wraps. <laughs> okay, <laughs> custom but, wraps. Hey, that's cool. Wraps, but uh, otherwise, is the car as you see it. Okay, but that's cool. They can get a wrap. Yeah. Mean, and you guys do that. You take care of yep. it at least. We take care Sweet. of it. Sweet. Uh, what about warranty? Warranty. So we don't offer a full warranty right now, um, but we do uh, fully stock uh, repair parts. Uh, we do spares, which the other people selling vehicles like this right now don't. We've driven this vehicle for 300 miles. Haven't had any issues so far. I've pulled this apart, put it all back together three or four times over. One of the things that we appreciate the most about these people coming on early is we're going to work with them. We're going to make sure that their vehicle's in working order when it arrives and do the best we can to maintain them afterwards. If I wanted to order one, mm -hmm. how long is it going to take to get one? Right now, we're looking at about a month lead time. Oh, okay. So well, that's not bad in we'll today's ship right market. To your door, so. Okay. And is that included in the 7500? We're driving. Uh, right now, uh, for Twin Cities Auto Show people, uh, we are doing free shipping. If you pre register here, talk to us, we'll sort it out. Um, but otherwise, uh, it depends on the area. Right. Uh, okay. We, we're, well, you don't need a very big trailer to no. come pick this up. What's the weight on this, by the way? 700 pounds. 700 pounds. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, Tom, thank you uh, so much for taking your time to share your, your information on the Opus Motor Car. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. It. Thanks for watching.